Hey guys, I'm here there with Skyscraper Punk Ass. Not very hot in here, but why is she sweating? Something's yeah. going on. She's hot and like yeah. flushed. Actually, why y'all flushed? <laughs> I actually don't want to say. Uh, mm -hmm. Where's this interview going? Why am I holding the mic? Is your I don't know. Okay. Don't you don't can start that. interviewing don't me. Don't let him do that. <laughs> Hey guys, so I noticed I was talking to you earlier. You were telling me you have a lot of things going on. Talk to us about that. Um, we're always, we always stay busy. We got uh, you know tap out training centers we're building. Um, we just were just opened one in Burlington, uh, Canada. Um, we got energy drinks coming to the U.S. We've we've had that in the, in Canada for a while, and we're bringing it down here now. Um, opening uh, distribution all over the world. We just signed big deals in Brazil. Oh, we're really excited Australia, about it. Australia, UK, Canada. We're working on Asia. Uh, we got a new Tap Out XT. It's almost like the P90X, but a uh, uh, but a uh, Tap Out style. You know, we got John Jones is in there, Ryan Bader, Cowboy, uh, Leonard Garcia, Misha Tate. There's so many people in there. We're just always trying to stay somewhere, doing something. Ten steps in front of everybody else. <laughs> At least ten steps. So how does it feel to be growing so rapid? I mean. Of uh, course, in the beginning we had a huge success, but now it's just like you're going worldwide. <laughs> yeah, we just we can't sleep. We're always trying to outdo our. You know what it is? We we're not ever satisfied with anything. So when we do something, it's like that only lasts for about a day with us, and then we're working on how to outdo ourselves. Maybe a couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's we just keep working to you know outdo ourselves. Okay, so I haven't really seen you guys at local events. Is this somewhere you guys usually come? These local uh, this is my second or? event. Uh, you know, with, with UFCs being so frequent, mm -hmm. and we we go to a lot of them because every UFC we go to, we have retailers that we show up and do do signings at just to help promote their you know their store and stuff like that. So uh, I think this is the longest span. There's not not a UFC. I think it's almost a month where there's not going to be UFC. Yeah. So Joker's our boy. So he fought Shad Smith. You know, worked for us, and we've known Dan's owned him for almost his whole life. Um, so we come out, and Brett's, you know, we've known Brett for a long time, so just come out to support. But yeah, I mean, this is where we started. You know, it started mostly with, you know, jujitsu because at the time, MMA was, it really wasn't even MMA then, and the fights were so few and far between that now that we have a little break in, in, in travel, um, come out to support all those guys. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was actually surprised to see you guys. I was happy to see you guys. I also noticed that they were honoring Charles. How does it feel after like three years that they're honoring him? That's incredible. Well, we just never wanted to be forgotten, you know. He did, uh, in, our, in our minds, in our head, um, you know, he did so much for the sport and, you know, that's, that was his life. That's all he, he, you know, we ate, drank, and slept uh, mixed martial arts and, uh, you know, tap out was his dream and, you know, now it's all over the world and we wish he was here to see some of that. But uh, you know, it's uh, we it's, we just never want him uh, out of people's consciousness. Anybody in MMA needs to know who Charles is, and that UFC's kept him on the ring. He's always on the cage. He'll always be there, and he'll always be in our hearts. And uh, and we're happy that you know they recognized him tonight. And something just on that note, right there, Brett had sent something to me earlier. He knows you know UFC, like you said, every fight there's a uh, where the fighters enter the door. Uh, on, on the bumper at the top of it, it says Charles Mass Lewis. And Brett asked me earlier if he could put that on the door here uh, for every fight. And I said, man, that'd be, to me, that's an honor. You know, to punk guys, that's an honor too, because that shows you know, not only what, what Charles meant to the people in sport, what Tap Out has meant to the sport. So to me, I thought it was an honor. So I said, yeah, man, of course. You know, I told, Dan, I told him, I said, no, I got to ask Dan first, but I know Dan would be okay with that because to us, that's, to, like I said, that's just a big honor. Yeah, definitely. Well, I wish you guys luck with the future. You guys don't really need it. You guys are everywhere, and congratulations on your success. Yeah, congrats to Bama USA, man. Yeah. We're happy to see all this place. I love, I love coming to these fights. We love you. Had, these little fights is where these guys fight their hearts out, man, to get into the, some of the bigger shows. And uh, you know, we love them putting it all on the line. You know, they got nothing to lose here. They come in here to just uh, fight their hearts out, and we love it. Yeah, they actually did. <laughs> And then you got guys like Josh Barnett in the house. Yeah. Baby face. Oh. That's the baby face. <laughs> well, you don't have, you don't have that I got no, out. Look at me. I'm old. I got gray in my beard. <laughs> I mean, it's like like Josh. This is how we we found him at a not a smaller show, but we, that's how we found him. You know, and he was fighting at an event out in Hawaii, and, and because we were there, next to me in my hotel rooms. <laughs> yeah, we literally we couldn't <laughs> afford hotel rooms, 
So we were sleeping in. He was fighting in the UFC. Uh, was it when he fought Randy? You know, uh, uh, no, it was no, before, yeah. before that. Before that, yeah, yeah. I fought uh, Pedro Hizo. I fought uh, really Sam Schilt. Well, the Sam Schilt one, I had. I was yeah. <laughs> my Kurt, my new girlfriend at the time comes into the room. There's these two dudes. <laughs> I think Joker's on the floor, and Charles is in bed next to me. Oh, why? Oh, why? <laughs> yeah, we can't talk about that. Well, we had, we had, we had two beds to a room. The conversation started that way earlier, and she got all two, red. Two, so. two beds to a room, right? So we, you know, we had to share up. So Charles is on my left, and, and she's like, Come into a room full of dudes <laughs> sharing beds with each What's other. Yeah, like yeah, jujitsu and guys sharing beds. <laughs> Fantastic. But that's love, though. I mean, you, you stick it out there for your friends. Yep. And everybody's got their moments. Everybody has their struggles. The, those that stick by you, those are the ones you gotta you gotta keep in mind when when you get to the top. And uh, to me, it was it was like having a sponsorship with people that cared about me. So when when times were lean or whatever, it's like I don't care. Let's just let's just do do the next one, man. Let's just do the next one. As long as we're going to the next one, let's just keep going. Hell yeah, Josh Barnett. <laughs> what is that? Oh, like, whoa! I almost got yeah. kicked in the face. <laughs> it's <laughs> thank you. I'm dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys. I really uh, appreciate it. Hey. <laughs>